Tactical Team. Hey there, this is Malorian, and this is the Orc Tactical Team. And what we're going to have today is another question from a viewer. Uh, this one comes from the Warrior's Vault, and his question is, Malorian, the Mangler Squig versus Pomp Wagon versus just the plain old Fast Cab, which one gives the most utility to your Orc and Goblin army? And this is a very important question because these really do uh, compete against each other. There are pretty much exactly the same points, you know, roughly that 65-point area, and so very, very much throw away, something you can easily put in there or not. And the question is, you know, which one's going to give you the biggest bang for your buck? And in this question here, the, the most utility. So there's the more things it can actually give to your army. So probably the best thing we can do here is hit these one by one, kind of talk about what they really do for your army, and at the end, kind of hit up which one's the winner. Now, the very first one here, the Mangler Squid, real or yeah, Mangler Squid sounds <laughs> Mangler Squid. Anyway, <laughs> sounds very simple because it can just go and run up and kill things, right? Like that's its job, run up and kill things. And to be honest, that really is its biggest thing. However, it also fills in some other roles. First of all, wherever it hops to, if it doesn't make it to go through, it's kind of area denial. I mean, sure, they could jump on it and take hits, but that's not always a smart thing, right? If I hop this in front of your ogres, sure, yeah, go and hop on it. You'll take 3d6 strength, 6 hits, go ahead. You know, so it really kind of like denies area. Uh, another thing to do with that is since people don't want it to go and kill their stuff, they'll send their eagles or throwaway units to go hop on them and basically wipe it out. Now, that sounds like a bad thing. However, it can actually help you out because if that eagle is hopping onto that mangler squid, a squig, I did it again, squig, then it's not going to go to, not going to convert one to be a squid. Oh, God. Anyway, it can't go and redirect your Savage Orc Biggins, so something like that. So you could say that's a little bit more situational. However, you probably should have Savage Orc Biggins, and uh, so that's really uh, a very thing, a big thing you probably want to think about. Uh, at the same time, you could use it, too, so that if Fast Cav or Scouts are around your, your, your edges, it doesn't need to see. It just hops over there and kills them. So pretty much for the, the Mangler Squig, we're looking at it can go and just kill stuff. It can deny area, draw out chaff, and then kill the fast cav and the scouts and stuff like that. The next one is the pump wagon, which kind of operates the same, but not to the same degree. Now, the pump wagon, it can't just go into a monster, right? Like, if I see a monster, I can send the mangler squig into it, and I know it's going to do quite a few wounds. If I send a pump wagon at it, it might do a wound or two, but then it's going to die. It's not like it pops to the other side. Uh, yeah, it can be a. It can't handle those stronger units. It can't hit multiple units. You know, the Mangler, ding, 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 can go down the line. Uh, the Pump Wagon is more looking for that weaker stuff. So it can be something just like for the other one where it can be trying to stop if there's any fast cab or scouts trying to get around to your, your war machines. It can do a better job of trying to kill off those. Um, it can even do be even faster, right? You can do the pump harder. You can uh, go, I think it's 46 of the max you can go. But it, it can do a really good job of killing that stuff. And it does a little bit more reliably too because whereas the Mangler Squake kills and then goes random, this thing can go and you still control it. Uh, at the same time, another thing it does is just clearing out chaff, right? You could put this in front of your army, and just like how the Mangler Squig will kill off the chaff because it, people are basically sending it to hop on it, you are saying, okay, where are you? You have some chaff there? Boom. I'm going to send my pump wagon out to you, eliminate you, uh, you know, overrun, go into another unit, tie you up type thing. So it can also be that anti-chaff. It can also support your blocks pretty well. Uh, whereas the Mangler Squig is a little bit harder to control, you could take your pump wagon and basically be bouncing it off your block until you need it and then charging along into combat or maybe already locked in and that's where he goes in. So he does a much better job of supporting your actual combats. Whereas... The Mangler, if I tried doing that, oh, hop into my unit. Okay, I just devastated my own unit. It just You can't have that same control, whereas the, the one there, you can just bump off the flank of your unit, and it just stops there. So that is pretty good. You can also use it for having hitting knights too, right? You put on the right upgrades, you make it strength 5, you make it so it ignores armor saves, 
you know, all of a sudden, it can do pretty good for killing these knights as well. So it does have these different uses. But, and really, when you look at it again, it's going to be uh, killing chaff, protecting your war machines by killing the, uh, you know, the stuff. It's chaff as well, but, it, you know, there's chaff in the front, and there's chaff trying to sneak around. So it's trying to stop those fast cab, trying to get to your war machines. It could be something that can be using to support your blocks, and it's also something you can use to actually be killing knights and stuff like that too. So it's about the same. It's in that same area. Now, the, the next thing we could talk about is the Wolf Riders. And, you know, sometimes you can keep them cheap. Sometimes you can throw on those bows. You can throw on the spears. But their biggest thing for them is, of course, you have the control of these guys so that they can go up there and they can redirect however you want. Whereas the, the Mangler Squig and the Pump Wagon are going to kind of do the random movement around they can't really know where they're going to be. You don't have a great control of your facing in relation to the, the block you're trying to redirect. The wolf riders will go wherever you need them. Now, at the same time, they can also be anti-chaff because they have a very long threat range. And as well with those spears, they can do a pretty good job. Or both saying, okay, you have your rival wolves. I'm going to shoot them. And then whenever needed, I'll charge in. So they can be anti-chaff as well. Um, they definitely can't take on anything strong, right? Be it monsters or knights. I mean, they're just going to die against any of that stuff. No question whatsoever. Uh, one of the things they do different as well, since they're so fast with the Vanguard, you can actually hunt war machines with these guys. So whereas the Mangler and the uh, the Pump Wagon, I mean, you can try bombing down a flank and try getting to a war machine, but you're kind of relying on dice, and it's kind of slow. Those Wolf Riders, they're probably going to be charging turn two, because Vanguard, go up 18, and then, yeah, they're they're pretty much ready to charge. Now, something else you can see say that's a little bit situational is that their bows can be used to be pulling off things like the charm shield if there's a demon prince. Whereas we said, like, you know, okay, drawing out chaff so it doesn't get in the way of the savage orcs, that's not really situational, so you could always have this. This truly is a situational point because there won't always be that demon prince, right? The charm shield isn't always on something that's flying around that they can shoot. At the same time, they can try and protect your war machines but they don't do that good of a job of it, right? Things can run around them, and even though they can kind of turn the face after, they don't protect those as well. Uh, they can actually set up the fleas. Now, there's another big thing, whereas the other two with their random movement can actually deal with that stuff getting around that they're very good at protecting. Uh, they can't flee, and so the wolf riders can actually go and set up, not only be in the spot where they need to be to redirect, but double flee, and just stop you in place. So really kind of breaking them down, their biggest stuff is going to be anti-chaff, redirect, double flea, war machine hunting. Now if you didn't notice, we're about four major aspects for each one of these. So when it comes down to it, which one gives you the most utility? And uh, the great thing is they pretty much each give you utility, but in different ways. Uh, and so one of the nice things, if you look at it, the pump wagon and the mangler squig, they kind of really overlap in what they're trying to do. However, the wolf calf, the, the spider riders or the, the wolf calf, either one, they really fill a much different role. So probably if you're building your list, you want to try and find some way that if there's not one of those that's your favorite that you really need to deal with, and of course we can always talk about look at your meta, you know, even though these guys all do these different things, you know, if if you don't run Savage Orc Biggins, or if you don't normally see a lot of fast cap trying to get around you, or if you don't see a lot of war machines, whatever it is, you can start saying like, okay, I, even though they might have each four things, that one doesn't really apply, so I want to see these more. But clearly, if you're going to be mixing these in your army, you probably want to have the either the Wolf Riders, or the Wolf Riders are better than Spider Riders, let's just say that. But you probably want the Wolf Riders and then one of the other ones. You probably don't want to go with Mangler Squig and the Pump Wagons because you're, you're doubling up there. Uh, unless you just really want to go with it and have some fun. Plus it's really good to have some control in there. So, you know, even though it can be really fun to be hopping around and doing all that great stuff, it's also pretty nice to say, 
wherever I want to put these guys with an 18, I'm just going to pick them up and put them there. So there you go. Another great part why I love orcs and goblins that you have so many choices and they're all really good choices. And uh, even though we didn't come out with a starring winner, uh, to me, the winner is always going to be probably the, the Wolf Riders because they're in core. And I love that control, right? Uh, if, if you want to actually be doing well and be more consistent in your gaming, you probably want to go with that. But man, when you send that Mangler through three units and kill two monsters and all this, it's hard to turn away. So there you have it. Thanks for watching and thanks for the question. Bye.